data sets and distribution. Estimate center using dot plots. So the following dot plot shows the number of players injured per game for three different teams. Each dot represents a different game. Order from least to typically uh, actually put the graph with the least typical value on top. So we want to go from smallest to largest. So right here we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be our middle here. So we're looking at three and then the two. And then here we go two to the left. So right here we want to start with the left here. This is concentrated in the middle and this one goes to the right. So we want to go with the left Work our way to the middle with the two and the three, and then go to the right. Okay, right here is the library book, and each dot represents a different student. Which of the following is the typical number of books uh, for us for one student checked out? Well, this ranges from zero to twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what we'll do is we'll count over six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're looking at this area here. So we're looking at like five to six. So five to six. See, I believe seven would be too far over. But I believe four is also too far over to the left. So I think seven would actually be a better answer because four is too far to the left. And seven brings us right about here. So I'll, I think we'll go with seven. Seven would be a better choice. Besides, seven is closer to uh, the six there. Okay, next one. Uh, the following dot plot shows the number of weekly challenge questions each of the 30 members of the math bowl team answers correctly last season. Each dot represents a different member. So right here we're going from 0 to 12. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're in this range here. So basically, you know, we're looking at 18 to 9. That's giving us like our true middle. So right there we have zero, which is not not very good. Uh, three is not good. Six, not good. Uh, ten, I think ten would actually be the better choice because it's out in this area here because these numbers here are too small. So and besides, ten is closer to the nine. Okay, Ms. Munoz, Munoz had students in three class period write essays for diagnostic tests. The following dot plot shows the scores for each class. Each dot represents a different student's score. So we want to put these in order. So basically, you know, this is left, this is in the middle, and uh, uh, this one is over uh, to the right. So we want to work our way here. So this is like a left. So we want to actually look uh, right here. So two and three. And then right here is uh, three and four. So let's see. So we want to start our way over here to the left and move our way over to the right. So this one seems to be more to the left. This seems to be more in the middle. And this one tends to be more to the right. So you want to look at like to the left here. Uh, this one has a higher middle and this one has more to the right. 